Welcome back to a new episode of the Chakra Chronicle Show, powered by Own Your Power Radio. And today, I'm so delighted to have Mama Lola in the house. <laughs> She's a priestess of Oshun and a dear friend of mine for many years, over probably 12 years, at least. Yeah. At I least. lost track, but yeah. yeah um, so we, we met back in Florida, and it's so funny because when we met, we were supposed to be just like networking. And it ended up being like a 10-hour date. Yeah, it did. It <laughs> that did. we just got along so well. It's just like, you know, we just ended up talking Spent the rest like, of the evening. Yeah. yeah. Just hanging Kicking out it. at Hard Rock. Um, and then we've been friends ever since. So, um, you know, I just want people that, you know, just love her. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you're around her, you just feel, feel, feel good. Thank so, you. Um, she and I reunited. Well, we've been reunited since I live in Florida. But we had um, breakfast a couple of weeks ago. And during the breakfast, we had this discussion, just talking about, you know, our careers and what's going on. And one of the things that kept coming up was um, the topic of karma or people that, um, like I say, like when I have clients come to me saying, oh, um, I have a curse on me. Do you know how to get it off? And I, and I was like, I don't, I, I don't dabble in that. <laughs> so I really don't. Um, or I have people that say, do you do work? And I was like, what does that mean? Like, I didn't even know at the time. And um, somebody wanted to put a spell on their boyfriend. Um, so that, that he would stop cheating, and I was like, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't do that. So, however, I know some people that do, and I know people that don't dabble in it. But <laughs> you, um, can you tell us an ex- experience or a story of somebody that you know that did that and how it backfired on them? Um, I sure can. Um, <laughs> so one of my first distance readings, um, I finally opened myself up and was like, let me just accept clients that weren't referrals. Um. Thank you for that. That referral thing kind of, it buffers the type of people you get. And one of the first people that I got right out of the gate um, was a person who was in a relationship with someone else's husband. Ah. And. Somebody else's um, guy. Precisely. <laughs> and she wanted to bind him um, because he had chosen to stop the affair and go back to his wife. Um, and she, she felt precisely. And she <laughs> felt like things were happening to her on purpose, spiritually, because of the wife, which it was. Um, and she wanted him back. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had already gotten into the reading. I typically like, you know, we don't like to know anything. Just tell the yeah. message first. And so I was already in the thick of it before I. Kn- knew what it was because had I known previously I wouldn't have even done the reading right um and so after getting into it and listening to her and investigating a little further and then finding out yes indeed there are things happening to you on a spiritual level because of this wife um and let me stop you because the wife was doing something to her too yeah oh yeah i thought you meant karma okay well it was well so the two of them well magic yeah she she's playing magic but also on a karmic level you know when you think about you know people can dibble and dabble in what right right and wrong is Mm -hmm. But that woman, that is her husband. She has taken that vow. She has taken that covenant. And so she has a right to protect her marriage. Right. Um, regardless as to what he's doing, she has a right to pray for and protect her marriage. What that protection then looks like, um, <laughs> because you are on the other side of that line, all depends on you. Right. And so what had happened was both of them were head to head in this ritual war to win this man Mm -hmm. um when in essence this man it it doesn't even matter but like he loved his wife but he also loved this woman but he didn't want the side woman anymore he really just wanted to be there and um she wanted me to teach her how to bind him how to make him come back how to um you know uh how to win him over Mm -hmm. and it was just something that I had to tell her I don't do and I won't do. Right. Um, even though I know how to, it's not. I don't karmically like. Is that really the word? Karmically, I, mean, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
have to go with right, it. Right, right, right. So <laughs> karmically, <laughs> uh, meaning <laughs> from a, speaking. karmically speaking, <laughs> if you will, um, I don't. I'm not gonna do anything that I I don't I don't need to know the history. I don't need to know what's going on. I know that that is that woman's husband, and until they dissolve that, that's just what it is. I don't dibble and dabble in that. Mm-hmm. And I advised her against doing that. Because when a man or any person has told you that they no longer want to be with you or even they haven't verbalized it, but everything that they're showing you, because some people really don't know how to put that in words, but everything that they're showing you shows you that they, they don't want to be in this place. So forcing them. Folks have folks, people have people. So you can't just buy me and think that my ancestors, my grandma, my aunts, my uncles yes, are going to watch you <laughs> hold me down yes. in a place I don't want to be and not defend me. And right. so I don't think that people look past the desire um, of, of having that person in their life for whatever the reason is. Um, you can really open up the doors to something else. And I don't. I don't want a hand in that. And, um, like, I don't want to be the door opener. No, I will not. I will not. Right? Yeah, because it, it frightens me when I, when I hear people like thinking that they can control somebody. Even to the point of getting excessive readings about somebody. Because mm-hmm. I tell people, you know, if you do that, if you keep reading him every day. Oh, is he cheating? Is he doing it? I promise you, he's going to feel it. And it might backfire yeah. when he's afraid of you. Like, he's like, yeah. oh, that energy. You, like, he feels connected to you, but not in the way you want. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And I've witnessed, like, what that does when you bind a, a person's spirit. And, yeah, they may, like, for the minute, yeah, oh, all of a sudden, y'all have this weekend whirlwind, mm-hmm. whirlwind romance mm-hmm. that you feel has now brought you back. But, like... After that's over, his spirit, whether you have done whatever to mess up in here, Mm -hmm. it's going to start to fight you. And I've seen people go crazy. I've seen people get dangerous Mm. um, because they don't they're no longer themselves. And so now you have this gumbo pot of his spirit fighting or her spirit fighting to be free and then you sitting on and then the ancestors trying to protect them and then whatever it is about you that's making you want to possess and hold a person that it's just a it's it gets mucky it gets swampy yeah Yeah. um it's interesting because um i we talked about karma and I, i an example i like to use too is past lives yeah. So, for instance, um, people don't realize. That's why I say, be careful how you work work in this life, how you mm-hmm. how you live in this life, because it could continue to mm-hmm. come back. So, um, even in my book, like a um, like a flying wall, and in um, what's from the past, I dabble in um, mm-hmm. past lives a little bit because I like to talk about karma. So, I give an example in the book where somebody was um, abusive to their wife in a mm-hmm. past life, mm-hmm. and you know, to the point of like. Killing her, mm-hmm. and then and, and then this this life that happened presently, um, they were getting abused by that same person. So mm-hmm. it's like they switched mm-hmm. roles. They switch roles. Yeah. So it's almost as if like Oscar says, you know what? I want, I'm feel I feel bad for what I did. Let me mm-hmm. see how that felt and experience. Yeah. You know. So um, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Like I said, in the name of the show. So um, can you give us another example of how maybe? Doing a spell or some, you know, wishing something, how it backfired. Any other examples? Um, yeah, uh, I've seen also, you know, so say for instance, the person doesn't lose it. They don't get violent. They, and they stay, um, they stay. What it does is it now opens you up, but the, but the situation under which they, you all have been in a relationship and the situation that you are now in because of this it just takes your life down. It dims your light. I've seen people hold on to situations and people just for the sake of your heart doesn't want to go through that fire of letting them go or whatever it is that has you attached to them. And then the rest of your life goes down because mm. now you have thwarted. See, you can't keep a person in a place where they're showing they're going away from and think that you can somehow steer that destiny or steer that into how you want that to look because that was never their intention. Mm -hmm. So they may sit there and they may stay there, but then things start not working for you um, Mm -hmm. or things start not working around you because you have now, 
you don't have the right to do that. You don't have the right to bind people because you want to keep them. You don't have the right to hold on to things that are not yours. It's it's just you don't possess people. Right. You don't own somebody. No. Um. Yeah. It can. I, I guess it's almost like being in a prison. It is. And and it's funny because you say that because I remember um. Wow. I had, I had a it couple, is. Um. That got a reading and. The girl was very possessive over the boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And when I read the boyfriend, before I even knew the whole story, mm-hmm. when I read, I read their energy first, I read their chakras first, mm-hmm. I literally saw him. There's, a, there's actually a tower card. I don't use tower mm-hmm. cards, but I, there's a tower card with somebody wrapped around mm-hmm. with ropes. Mm-hmm. And that's what I saw. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it feels like you're in a prison. He was like, exactly. That's mm-hmm. what I felt. <laughs> mm-hmm. So part of him like loved her, but he wanted to glean yeah. too because it was very, you know, yeah. a relationship. Um, And I'm going to say this as an example, too, that I've seen happen with other people where they'll put spells on somebody or, you know, try to take somebody away from somebody. And then it can affect them in a way that they don't think. Yeah. Which could be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately. Yeah. So, I mean, something as simple as, oh, I don't want my daughter to be with that guy Mm -hmm. or whatever. I'm going to do a spell Mm because I don't like that guy. I Mm -hmm. want want something to happen to him. Mm -hmm. Something to happen to your daughter. Yeah. Instead. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So, or something can happen to you. There you go. You don't get to meddle in other people's lives in that way. You can pray protection over them. You can pray for wisdom in their decision making. Um, you can pray for light and prosperity in their lives and all positive things. But you have to let people walk the path that they have to walk. And prayerfully, if that's a person you love and a person that you are in a relationship with, they will walk towards you and you will walk towards them. But you don't get to say, I'm walking this way and you look like you're walking that way. And I love everything you do for me. So I'm going to try to pull you over. Yeah. No. no, I have another. This is it's funny, but it's not funny. But I have a friend who is she's been with somebody for over twenty years, mm-hmm. and um, she she said that when she was a teenager, she did some sort of spell. I don't even know what the hell it was, but mm-hmm. um, she thought I taught her. I was like, I don't know how to do no spells. <laughs> she came over and said, "Did you show me how to do?" I said, "No, I did not." And she said, "You remember you showed me how to put the underwear together?" It was oh. Like, Something about tying underwear. I don't look, I don't look, I'm not telling y'all how to do it. Oh, come on. No. Yeah, I don't know nothing about spells. I'm just letting y'all know. Disclaimer. But she, me and her joke around about it, but she always says that I, I told her how to do mm-hmm. it. I said, I didn't even know what that is. And she, mm-hmm. So she did it. And now to this day, she's going to hear the show. So you know, I'm, you know I'm talking to you. To this day, oh, I can't stand him. Oh, I hate him. But he will not leave her He home. won't leave you alone. He love her to yep. death. And yep. I, said, I said, look, that's your, that's your comment. Yeah, that's how she did it. You did it. You did it. And she's you like, did I, it. I hate him. Uh, I want to leave him. And every year she's getting a divorce. I was like, you ain't going nowhere. Get up out of here. You, yo, y'all ain't going nowhere. She ain't going to do nothing. Now she got him. You got him for life unless you set him free. And you can do that. Like if you. Cut the cord. Yeah, you can absolutely can you cut the cord. That, or is that too long? So yeah. it all depends on what the cord looks like. <laughs> how thick is that cord? How thick the cord is. But you can absolutely cut the cord. You can absolutely go and atone and take accountability and apologize to that person's spirit. Not even face to face, because you better keep your mouth shut most <laughs> times. I but like for tying your underwear together, yeah, right? I apologize for all of that stuff I did. But like for holding you captive, That's for holding you is. captive. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, there are all kinds of things that you can do to atone and release that person. Like, But it takes intentions, and it's sometimes not a one-day thing. Right. It's not, it, it may not even be a one-month thing. It may be something that you may get prescribed, something that you have to do over a, a, the span of who God one knows how long. Because how long has that person been suffering because you you put your foot on their neck right. to hold them Ooh. so you have to so there there are ways that you can do it you know um and there are ways that you can you can um undo it and prayerfully it won't be that difficult and sometimes you stuck you know you're you're stuck with the decision and you you know it's all you may have to appease that person's spirit so that they don't come after you you may have to appease that person's ancestors so they not pissed at you because you done tied they baby down you know so you have to be really really careful with um 
with that and allow things to come to you freely. You don't have to strong right. arm. Thank you. You don't have to strong arm. Right. If you're in that, the, the, if you're in a good space and you pray every day and yeah. meditate, be and stay patient. Connected, listen to your ancestors. Yeah. Do all that. That um that prayer is so important. I tell people all time meditating. Um, you know they say prayers, talking to God, meditation is listening. So yeah. A lot of people just pray, but they don't listen. Yeah. You know. Um. So let's talk about now how. I guess there could be the dark side of this where we already talked about kind of the dark side, but the dark side of where, where people that are spiritual um, leaders, counselors, whatever, become manipulative. Hey. This is the part that <laughs> I, I really, it bothers me so much. And I, I write about it in my books too. I weave mm-hmm. it into my stories where, um, and it cracks me up too because people will tell me, oh, I spent my life savings because this lady told me I had an ancestral curse on me and I got to take it off. So I gave her 15000 out. And I'm like, wait, what? What? You know? <laughs> um, and then and the sad part is a lot of these people are very gifted. Some of them are very intuitive, but they use their, their powers for bad and they manipulate and, and, you know, try to get you really good, you know? And um, when I was young, when I was about 21, this literally happened to me, um, where a lady, I was walking down the street down, like, you know, Manhattan, and this lady was like standing outside her shop, little, little Indian lady, and she was like, come, my child. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, you have this light about you. You know, whatever. And she's like, come, it's $20, $20 mm-hmm. you know, or something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, I'm gullible. I was like, all right, sure. And I, I loved, I was always into psychic mm-hmm. stuff. I was like, sure, let me go in there. And this lady, when I tell you she was so psychic, like she described where my mother worked, the mm-hmm. entrance. She knew everything mm-hmm. about me. She knew about my father, all this stuff. And she started telling me all this stuff. And to the point of, I was like, oh, she's amazing, you know? And then she was like, oh, well, you have a curse on you, and we need to get it off, and da, da, da. So you need to give me this money. And, and it went from that, and I, I really believed her at, mm-hmm. the, at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, she, no, I know what it was. It wasn't a curse on me. It was a curse on my mother. Because mm-hmm. at the time, my mother's leg, she had a bad um, leg, and, mm-hmm. and nobody could find out what was wrong with her leg. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell this lady anything, and mm-hmm. she told me, your mother has a curse on her because her, um, her leg is, has a, something problem with it. Mm-hmm. So I really believed her. Mm-hmm. So she's like, get this, put this in your house, and do all this. So I listened to her and did it. And then after that, it went from that to bring your mother. Mm-hmm. And then um, and then tell this person, and tell this person. And then, then it kept on, oh, I need $300. I need $500, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and I, at the time, I, I have I was making money. I was an intern, but I was I thought I was, mm-hmm. you know, I, was I had no bills. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I paid her, like, I might have did like three times, like two times. I didn't want it. When she started getting the $300 and $500, yeah. I, said, I said, no, enough. You yeah. Know? But I was terrified, and I started thinking, maybe I do have a curse. <laughs> yeah. But they really can get you if you, because they're psychic, and they yeah. are really good, some of them. Um, unfortunately, some of them aren't. But the funny thing is, I always tell people, the people that you are giving money to, look at, just pay attention and look at who they are. Because sometimes they living in a basement, wearing a moo moo, look five hundred pounds. <laughs> they life don't even look good, and you giving you getting advice from these people. <laughs> and so, so I completely agree with you on that. And um, the dark just of- based on my own personal experience and um, moving with my heart first. Um, and leading with my heart instead of leading with the, my conscious self, because you know, you, a lot of people, we get caught up because it's our vulnerability, right? Mm -hmm. It's our vulnerability to solve problems and to help the people that we love. And a lot of, you know, that hurt people, hurt people when it comes to priesthood, when it comes to elders and people that have spiritual gifts, you really need to take the time to vet the people Thank you. that you are uh, going to get readings from or going to get spiritual counseling from. Because I promise you, if you take yourself through some type or take that person through some type of vetting experience, you're going to learn whether this is actually even the type of person that you can learn under, um, even if it's none of that other shit. And then if it is that shit, trust me, if you keep looking long enough and you set your intentions and you pray that I not be blinded by the, you know, the Mm -hmm. glamour of the fact that they have this gift and they can tell me things that are going on, but that I see who this person is, and when them people show you who they are, believe, believe them and get the fuck up out of there because there's <laughs> no amount of love. It's nothing that you can do mm-hmm. to change who they are. Mm-hmm. And so trust and believe those people get theirs. It may not be in your timing. You it may not even be around us, and you shouldn't be around to see it because you need to get the fuck up out of Dodge <laughs> quickly. But those 
you have to vet people. I know people are hungry. I know you are excited and you want to learn, you know, and especially here. It's like, I can only imagine my mom sick and I hear something and I'm triggered. And yeah. now I'm like, but like, it's like those triggers. Pay attention to your intuitive triggers. Your trigger went off like, hold on, like, okay. Sorry, and now, like, no, because you know what it was? She was, and I remember she was like, I need the money to pray for the, I need these candles. The candles are supposedly six no. feet tall, and she needs to kneel in front of them and pray for hours, no. and that's what I'm paying for. And then let me tell you the last part. I remember when, around that time, I think like 2020, or one of them people did like a, a, a insider edition show mm-hmm. on crook, Crooked Psychics. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I was like, I'm going to report her. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to report her because she's a, she's a thief. Um, and then I, I ended up going back to see where she was. Mm-hmm. Place cleared out. Yeah. She was already, you know, moved on to the next yeah. location. And, and that's generally and how they, the, they move. They move... Um, they change their names. Mm. Um, they yep. they change whatever name they have been known, in, and once they're exposed, they change into another else. name, and yeah. they move with whatever the groove. And they're very they're That's very scary. smart. Yeah. They're narcissists. Mm-hmm. They're extremely extremely intelligent and knowledgeable. Do not ever discount or discredit what they come with. They come with power, mm-hmm. but they have harnessed all of that energy and all of those gifts. Um, and it, and unfortunately, a lot of them, they don't even mean to be that person. Like, I'm not making excuses for them. It's all kind of trauma and shit under that that has made them think that this is... Too. And a this is, the they think this is how they have to be. Right. And you don't. Right. You do not. And so, you know, as far as advice goes, vet who yeah. you are listening to and then... Um, for those people that are doing it or on the fence about overcharging people and this and that, don't do it. You're going to pay for that. Life savings. Or even like, I know, depending on, I don't know which religion, but there's different religions or whatever. But they'll say, in order to get this curse off, you need to get um, certified in this. Or you need to take this um, initiation, which costs $5,000 or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but sometimes they'll like, they'll put fear in you. So let me. The fear s- part scares me. So the fear part, it should never be about fear. Right. It should always be about empowerment. What I will say in that instance is in in just to speak in, in Ifa um and Orisha uh culture, initiations cost money. Right. Um and they cost a pretty penny. But it's not a if you don't do it, you're gonna your, your family. Now gonna there, trust. there are not well. <laughs> now there are some times where it needs to be done to save your life. It needs to be done because of a sickness. And just like that woman knew that that's what it was, it may be a story like that where you do have to go down this road. Mm-hmm. But it will never. You will. You have to pay attention to the things. It will never be a gimme, 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 yeah, gimme, yeah, gimme. Yeah, yeah. It'll like they like will pray for you. Crying. They will open the door so that they will pray for you and, and do everything that they can to open the door so that things can open up for you so that that prosperity and the money that you need will come. But they will never be on some give it to me now. Right. And you know, spiritual things cost spiritual money. It is time, it is right. energy, it is it is it is um all types of material. However, it is not by way of greed that a spiritualist should be able to come to you. And act. if you know in your mind, especially when you get to a ritual that I know good and hell well, this ain't what costs two thousand dollars. <laughs> right. You know, the, and I hope that you never have to learn that way. Right. Um, I gratefully I didn't necessarily have to learn that way. Um, they There were greed, you know. Things and and there was that greediness, but it didn't it didn't like they ain't take my life savings. But I right, know right, people right. that they have right. done that too. Right, because some people are just gullible and they fall for it. And, and they, I don't even want to say gullible. It's like they're ignorant because they don't know any better. People come here vulnerable, and they may not have anybody else in their life that is experienced at this. Right, or they may. That's how I was, but I could have taken the time. 
to get in some groups and kind of wait and listen and listen out and look for my tribe and pray in it. But I didn't. I was head first. I wanted it now. I wanted to know now. I want to learn now. Fuck, oh, look. Oh, he could chant this little prayer. And, <laughs> you know, and, and you think that you have found yourself something. You think you have. And you probably are going through all of these amazing spiritual experiences and things are manifesting for you. But. There's a lesson that's stewing in the back and you're ignoring the lesson mm-hmm. because you are reaping all of these other rewards. Right. And I know that that generally happens with a lot of people, but you got to pay attention to the person that's, that, that's the elder. And if they're not clean, just know they're not the only way. Right. They are not the only right. way. You can always make a change. And when you see it and that trigger goes off in you, just like you knew, get the I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah, I was like, I'm yeah. a good lady. You ain't asked me for no more. Yeah. So she was too panicky. I was like, Yeah. Hey. I was like, This is you're, yeah. You're bugging. Um, but and also I, the way she would do it is she would get she would give you a reading, tell you to get your mother, and then then tell your mother to get somebody else. Yeah. Tell, like you know, yeah. like you, like telling yeah. everybody. Almost yeah. everybody had a purse on them. Mm-hmm. Once I started researching who who I referred, and yeah, I, I was like, Nah, this ain't yeah, mm-hmm, lady. Yeah. yeah. So thank God I learned early. Yeah. But that's I why I, I get so I angry when did. people come to me. Saying that they have a curse on them, and nine times a time is not is not a curse. It's mm-hmm. something, something, mm-hmm. it's something somebody else. Was a yeah, you know. Yeah. But all right, so we got a uh, got a lot of that out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we cover it all. Bases. Yes. Um. So again, this is the Chakra Chronicles show. So if you are somebody who's a light worker that would love to be on the show, please reach out to me and let me know. Um. Just email Simone at ownyourpower.biz, and I'd love to have you on the show. Um, thanks again, Mama Lola. You're welcome. For sharing thank your you. stories with thank us. Thank you, thank you. Um, can you tell us how we can reach you? Um, yes, you can reach me um, through my website. It is Gone Healing, like Gone Fishing. <laughs> um, gone Healing with Mama Lola dot com. Um, and on there, it has a little bit more about me and the services that I provide as a healer. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank so you it's, it's so wonderful how. Yeah, it's even spiritual journey I would say mm-hmm. we've done a lot together we have we yeah. really really have like we kick started this From together yeah <laughs> we both were like I'm scared you scared I'm scared <laughs> yeah so it has worked we went though. different ways in a way but we, still, we did we still but we, it's together. still the same yeah it's yeah, still yeah. the same so thanks again Thank make you sure for... you keep it locked on own your power radio and own your power tv and we'll see you next time Bye.